It's the biggest little countdown. Salty brine. Well, folks, this is going to be an interesting morning. It's already started out that way. Salty is is all Rhode Island. Salty Brian, I love the show. Four o'clock when I came home from school, him and his dog Jeff. Salty Shack and the dog and Salty. It wasn't exactly my style at the time, but um, everybody knew who Salty Brian was. He had that TV show. It was at the end. He said, uh, "Make sure you brush your teeth and say your prayers" or something like that. Brush your teeth and say your prayers. It's funny that when when you mentioned Salty Brian Beach to people, you, you have to explain to them that, that actually is a person. Yeah, I mean, you know, now, and now there's a beach which my kids go to, which is, you know, I, they'll never realize that the word Salty Brian was actually a person's name, probably. Now that it's called Salty Brian Beach, that just sounds like a normal name for a beach, right? I had lunch at Galilee, George's. I must have been seven. He was sitting right in the booth behind us. I, mean, I don't have much, like, no, not too many claims to fame of meeting people, but. <laughs> Salty was one of them. Salty Brian, I think, I, I think <laughs> Salty was one. Oh, I remember listening to Salty on the radio when I was a kid. When I was a kid, he was the guy that told me if I had to go to school or not. If, when it was snowing out, you turn on WPRO to find out if you, like, if you're going to school. So, I mean, I think that's a common experience for all Rhode Islanders in the, what, the 60s, 70s, whatever it was. Back in the day, it was all about salty when we woke up, you know, back when I was 10, 12 years old. This state is, you know, probably will always be known for no school Foster Gloucester. When he, he said Foster Gloucester, it was just, you know, there you go, you know. It's like meatloaf and mashed potatoes right there. Hold your applause.